it's just they didn't know him, so they, I don't think he's any harm to anybody. A split-second decision in a tough situation, but an upset family thinks a Lubbock police officer made the wrong choice. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on KLBK. I'm John Hansen. I'm Terry Furman. The family of 34-year-old Sean Boyette says they're heartbroken after the incident yesterday. Boyette was shot by Lubbock police after they say he pulled a knife on them. Yeah, KLBK's Monty Salazar joins us now from the HD News Center. Now, Monty, his family really upset about this situation. Good evening, Terry. John, I spoke with his sister who says she wasn't there when this all happened, but she's just hoping that her brother ends up okay. Oh, man, I was just panicking at first, and I was just kind of like trying to hurry up and get a ride over there. Cassidy says she was at home waiting for her mom on Monday before finding out what happened to her brother, Sean. A girl from my old job, she called me on Messenger and she said, did you know that you have all these cops around your house and the news is at your house? And so I was just trying to get a ride because my I was, I was having car trouble. So I was trying to get my car going and, and I got over there as fast as I could. Police say his mom called police wanting their help to remove him from the house. When officers tried to get him out of the house, Boyette pulled out a knife. And that's when one of the officers shot him twice. It's just they didn't know him. So they, I don't think he's any harm to anybody. He's really not. She says Boyett's always been a funny and easygoing brother, but has been fighting a mental illness for several years. Anybody, you can ask anybody, he's always kept to himself. He, he's not any harm. Like, he, he just has that mental illness. He's not with reality, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think he's going to come stab me. She told me he lived with their mom and always tries to take care of their family. But she says his severe schizophrenia limits him from doing everyday things. I know he's not that big of a threat, you know. I mean, I just don't know why they had to shoot him. Boyette remains in the hospital tonight and he's expected to make a full recovery. He will be charged with aggravated assault against a police officer and could face even other charges. And the, op the officers involved weren't hurt, but they remain on paid administrative leave.